Hello and welcome my Pisces friend to your love scenes forecast for June 2016 and uh, I just want to open up with my mutable signs I opened up with Gemini first and their trump card is the lovers card and Pisces our trump card my Pisces son I'm a sun <laughs> sign is Pisces is the trump card of the moon okay and for June uh, July the tarot is the moon okay the trump card and I just dropped the um, and I want to drop these readings for this full moon in Sagittarius that it came out beautiful for the mutable signs for all the zodiac signs uh, for all the zodiac signs but the ace of cups came through the holy grail and I just dropped the mutable sign of Sagittarius a few minutes ago and the ace of cups the love card came through for them so if you have Sagittarius in your charts, embrace, embrace. And even if you don't, even if you don't follow astrology, well, you wouldn't be following one of these videos. But get outside and look up to Luna this weekend. And and in June, it's also the June 20th is also going to be in the sign of Sagittarius. That's, you know, letting go of our ego and embracing our higher self. You know, the little S is ego. The big S is spirit self, higher self. So definitely embrace, and I just want to open up with the mutable signs like, a, like I've done for all the others. If you are a mutable sign, your sign is the third and final month within each season. The role for these signs is to prepare for the transition to the next season. So here we're going into the summer season, June 2016, for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, okay? And the next scenes and the traits are communication, flexibility, and destruction. So... You know, releasing what no longer serves us anymore is a huge theme with these powerful full moons and Sagittarius. Well, all full moons is about that. Release what no longer serves us, okay? But we did open up with the Gemini air sign because this is also um, what we were exiting from the Gemini moon, okay? Which is what we're in right now. What we have this weekend is the full moon there, okay? And their tarot uh, is the lovers. So now we're coming into the June, July uh, with uh, also cancer is involved for this coming moon and so we want to uh, embrace la luna okay and uh, we'll we'll do a, a whole topic of this when we do the reading for uh, june monthly reading but i just wanted to highlight that the moon is here with us and pisces our trump card is the moon so um but we have the gemini air signs there's the late spring the Virgo Earth sign is the late summer. The Sagittarius fire sign is late autumn. And we Pisces water sign is late winter is our seasons. Okay, so embracing that. But I am working with the True Love Tarot and the Romance Angels. And I'm just doing a three-card spread. I decided to change these videos just to, you know, pick fewer cards. And then if you do have or other traits, other zodiac signs in your charts, then you can, you know, watch these in that way. Everybody can look at their significant sign, uh, whether it's your sun, uh, moon, or rising, okay? Or, you know, your loved one's uh, signs as well, your children, whatever you want to look for. Okay, first card in my hand here, and I'll pick three of these. Okay, and so it's just been delicious. And again, to to have that the full moon Sagittarius, the love factor, uh, the Holy Grail Ace of Cups came through for their full moon. And just right now, that's a sign to me that's saying that love is definitely a factor for the month of June, especially this weekend. Look out. Luna loves the lovers. Okay, she does. She does. And embrace your psychic abilities. Uh, look at this card right here, right now in my hand. Okay, so embrace the intuition, your psychic self. All right, don't deny what you're born with. Okay, don't deny what you're born with. And then we'll pick one card from the Romance Angels once we see what is on. Uh, for the Pisces in June 2016, uh, ooh, look at that. The Six of Roses comes through with victory. Victory, victory, how wonderful is that? And six is also that harmonizing number. Actually, Major Arcana six is the lover's card. 
And in this deck, the roses has to deal with wands, with the spirit, with source, creator, whatever you want to call it. But definitely, there's victory on this table so far. So how wonderful. So uh, it's come through, you know, when we, when we tap our higher wisdom self, working with the divine flow, we do all have a divine destiny. We have a purpose why we're here. But for this month of June, for the Pisces friends, um, they're saying victory and triumph is coming for you. Okay, so just embrace your spiritual self. Embrace your spiritual self. And Sagittarius is all about that spiritual teacher. So embrace this full moon's coming because victory is already opening up the table. So how nice is that? Oh, my Lord, we've got the roses on the table. And look at this, how beautiful. With the ace of roses itself, the ace of wands with passion. Glorious, glorious. And aces are always about the new beginnings, okay? New desires for these this passion that's coming. And there's victory with it as well. So you see, when you come from spirit source, and you're really working with your intuition and, and, and trying to receive the messages. That's like the win-win. It really is, okay? The wands, uh, the roses, they have it as the roses. But look at this. And, and roses is always a meaning for love and passion. Uh, you know, pink for love, red for passion. So make that combination. Even go buy yourself some pink and red roses, spicy folk, okay? Why not decorate decorate yourself with some passionate victory that's coming for June? Woo! Oops, there we go. Okay, hold on a sec here. Ah, we'll just put that back. You can see I get I get jacked up sometimes. Okay, and now we have boy the wands are on the table, and we have the twos with a crossroads here. The two of wands. Okay, so. But twos uh, signify partnership. And we did have for the mutable signs uh, the ten of swords come through with the air sign talking about difficulties. So if there's any kind of uh, scenario where, you know, hey, listen, maybe we might have to exit from each other or, hey, you know, let's make it a go. Just think it through. Use your intuition. Another major theme for June 2016 dream, dream big, even daydream. Okay. Take rest during the day, turn off the technology and go within. Okay. Tapping the intuition. All right. Because there's sometimes going to be where they want to say to you, take that break. Okay. Take that break. But honestly, with victory and passion on the table. Okay. It's kind of saying to me, go for it, you know, but just we always want to think things through, okay? We always want to tap our inner heart zone and saying, okay, does this feel like love to me? Is this going to bring me love? Is this going to bring me good vibes, okay? So just we just don't want to go on a whim. We really try not to do that. I'm not saying being spontaneous. You know, spontaneity is can be fun and this uh, full, two back-to-back -back full moons in Sagittarius all these weeks to come. We can say, let's have fun. Let's go on, on our ventures, okay? That just came through as well for the Sagittarius uh, reading. The uh, uh, Princess of Roses came through, the adventure. So, you know, go on adventures. Enjoy your time. But again, just recognize that, you know, um, just be aware that sometimes we might have to Think things out a little more, all right? And But definitely victory and passion is here, so be passionate. And maybe this can also say something to you that, hey, you know, I've been been working on some stuff, but I'm not feeling that passion. So let me, let me regroup, okay? Regroup. And maybe if you are in a partnership of some kind, whether it be work, um, you can say, well, hold on, this person and I aren't seeing eye to eye. Let's, let's just regroup, okay? So, but nonetheless, with victory and passion, you keep going for what you believe in, okay? You keep going because they're saying, uh-huh, victory triumph is here. But it's always good to kind of sleep on things, okay, and dreaming big. And we also want to have a little 
pen and paper so that when we wake up or even as we daydream, if, if thoughts or phrases or words or even images come through, you want to jot them down, okay? Because that's definitely source, spirit, giving you signals, you know, like, hey, this is the route to take, okay? All right, and one card for us to join in here um, for the Pisces friends. Oh, boy, passion is it. Double whammy passion. We can't deny it. Okay, here we go. Double passion. Woohoo! Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There you go. Double passion for the Pisces friends. So just go for it, okay? You know, just go for it. It's here for you. Definitely, definitely. That's the win-win, I say. Out of four cards, we get two passions. That's kind of very good. So, And it, let it come from your heart, okay, from your divine core, your your inner knowing. You know your gut, your, your gut zone as well. But when it comes from the heart and when we have to deal with matters of the heart, love, especially coupling, looking for your soulmate, or even if you're married and you, you know, steam it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You know, dance naked in the house together, you know what I'm saying? Put on that, <laughs> Teddy Pendergrass always works. I don't know, people, it does, but it does, it does. But there you go. Love, love you, love them. It's a win-win. So be passionate, you know, and put on those, you know, put on red. Red is always that fire kind of color that says, woohoo, ooh la la. Okay. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Well, thank you, my Pisces friends, for watching. And definitely don't just go for it. Victory in love and with the double passion. Why not? Embrace it. It's going to be fun. June is going to be a fun month. Go outside. Look up to Luna. Luna loves the lovers. And ground with Mother Earth. And get the sun. Get some sun. Go outside. You know, even if, if it's freezing, put on a little you know, <laughs> jacket and look up to the sun. Okay? And don't deny these full moons this weekend and coming up in June. It's super powerful and super loving. And, uh, and hear the messages. Okay? Hear the messages. But do it with passion now. Double whammy passion. I don't think that's ever come through in any kind of reading. So I like it. Especially since I'm a Pisces son. <laughs> love to you all. Kisses. Thank you for all my new subscribers and viewers. I love you all. Ciao.